Hi guys, well another successful fall Mageddon has come and gone with only a couple of minor injuries. Uh, Big Johnson got a revolver burn on his thumb and uh, after shooting guns all day without any incident I managed to slice my thumb open trying to make a sandwich. Uh, thanks to Rob Pops Quest for uh, patching me up. Uh, thanks to John Live for Wild for patching me up the second time the next day. Uh, it's healing all right. It's kind of ugly still, but it could have been a lot worse. So thanks guys for fixing that up. Uh, it was really awesome to see everybody again. Uh, it was really awesome not to see a couple of people again. Well, okay, take it back. It was really awesome not to see one person again. A fun time was had by all. It was just a really awesome event. Thanks again, Rob, for hosting. Uh, great to see uh, Mel Fogg, the crazy Scotsman, uh, who else was there? Uh, Rich4150 showed up, which I was kind of surprised to see him, kind of kind of nice to see him in person. Uh, the Fat Man, I've been trying to meet up with the Fat Man for four or five years, and uh, it just never worked out, and he was there and shared his uh, 1918 Luger with us, which was just incredibly awesome. Uh, Tom Olofsson. Tom Olofsson, I don't know what he's doing hanging out with this group of hoodlums. He's a uh, certified lawyer and a real gentleman who uh, never loses his cool under any circumstances, no matter how much he's being provoked. Uh, TR Prepper always is always there. Um, uh, Yankee 4, Bobby, good to see you guys again. Uh, it was just, I know I'm leaving out some names. Uh, the food was just awesome, thanks to uh, SoCal. Just a general thank you to everyone for making it a really good time. And it, it's, it's, I know there were at least 20 people there. I counted 20 of us around the campfire the first night. Uh, it, it's really awesome to be able to get that many YouTubers together and, and, and not have any major events. Uh, thanks again, Pop. It's always a great time at Falmageddon. Oh yeah, and I think uh, Big Johnson thinks somebody touched him in his swimsuit area.